the objective of this video is to uh, write the equation of a quadratic number series. So uh, let me first uh, write the general formula of a quadratic equation. The general formula of any quadratic equation can be written like this. y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. bx plus c, where a can be found by finding the second difference. So let me write that first, where a, I'll prove this first, and then we will take a, a example where a is half of the second difference is half of the second difference i'll explain this half of the second difference okay or you can also write like this the second difference the same thing can also be written like this second difference is always going to be 2a the second difference is always going to be to a. This and this are one and the same. So let us write one example. Suppose you have a number pattern like this. You've got x and y. The first number is say 9. The second number is 17. The third number is say 27. And the fourth number is 39. And the fifth number is, so let's go up to the fifth number. So whenever you have a number pattern like this, we need to find the first and the second difference. So the first difference. Okay, the first difference is difference between the numbers. That's y. So this, what's this difference? So this is 17 take away 9. Or 9 plus what is 17? 9 plus 8 is 17. Okay, so this is 17 plus what is 27? Well, that is 10. Uh, this is 27 plus what is 39? Well, that is 12. And this is, if you, 39 plus what is 53? 39 plus 14 is 53. So this is called the first difference. So the second difference. So the second difference is difference of the first difference. The first difference is the difference of the y's. And the second difference is the difference of the first difference. So this difference is 2. This difference is 2. And this difference is 2. So whenever you have the second difference constant or the same, you can say this is a quadratic number pattern. So just as I told you now, so we can say from this that 2a is equal to 1. Sorry, 2a is equal to 2. So 2, the second difference is 2a. And I'm going to say the second difference is equal to, the second difference is 2a, and the other second difference is 2. So we can say 2a is equal to 2, which implies a should be 1. Okay, so that's the first step. So now we have to, write y in terms of x. So let's write the general formula again. So y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. So now we already know a is 1. So in place of a, you can put 1 or you just need to write y is equal to x squared. So this becomes y is equal to x squared plus bx plus c. So now the only thing is you need to figure out what is b and c. So what is that we know? When x is 1, y is 9. So let's write that. When x is 1, y is 9. So let's put this in this equation. So we can say 9 is equal to 1 squared is going to be 1 plus b times 1 is going to be b plus c. So simplifying this, I can say, well, b plus taking away 1 from both sides, I can say b plus c is equal to 8. So this is your first equation. Okay, so let us let me change color. Okay, so when x is 2, when x is 2, what is y? When x is 2, y is 17. So again, let us put this 
substitute this in this this equation so I'm going to put y as 17 and x as 2 so well I can say 17 is equal to you need to be careful here it is 2 squared so that's going to be 4 plus b times x b times 2 which is 2b plus c now taking away 4 from both sides so if you take away 4 from both sides 17 take away 4 is 13 so the second equation becomes 2b plus c is equal to 17. I'm going very slowly so that you understand. So finally, we need to solve these two equations. So let's write the bigger equation first. So we can say 2b plus c is 17 and b plus c is, b plus c is 8. So just we have to take away the first equation from the second equation so let's take away so i'm putting in this minus sign so you read like this 2b take away b is going to be b c take away c is going to get cancelled and 17 take away 8 17 take away 8 is how much 9 plus 8 is 17 so that's going to be 9 okay so your b is 9 and finally we need to we need to are we doing a mistake here just let me check so 4 plus 2b plus c oh I, I made a mistake here okay so what was the mistake the this should be I didn't take away 4 I wrote so this should be 13 here so let me take away third right 13 here I was wondering what's happening so 13 take away 5 is, sorry, 13 take away 8 is 5. So your B is 8. So I should have taken 4. So if you take away 4 from this side, you have to take away 4 from this side. So 17 take away 4 is 13. So I should have written 13 here. So now we're almost there. So let me finish this off. So let me slide this away. So uh, your A is 1. A we found 1. B is how much b is 5 so what do we know b plus c b plus c is b plus c is how much 8 okay so b plus c is equal to 8 and we know b is 5 so we can say 5 plus c is equal to 8 so taking away 5 from both sides c is equal to 3 so the final equation is y is equal to x squared a is 1 so x squared b is 5 so it is 5x plus 3 so let's see whether it works so let's put one value and check whether our answer is right so let's check this when x is 4 y has to be 39 so let's scroll this up and let me change color so when x is 4 y should be 39 so let's put this here and check whether this equation is right so y is equal to 4 squared 4 squared plus 5 times 4 plus plus 3 so 4 squared is 16 plus 20 plus 3 so this is 26 sorry 36 plus 3 which is 39 so we can see our equation is right.